Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 9.1, the cosine rule. 9.1 represents chapter 9, section 1 of the paper in A-level maths, pure maths year 1, textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following triangle. Capital A, capital B, capital C represent angles. Lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c represent sides. Notice that lowercase a is opposite capital A, lowercase b is opposite capital B, and lowercase c is opposite capital C. The cosine rule is as follows. B squared is equal a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b. We can apply some modifications over here so that if this part was a squared, over here you would have cos a. If this part was c squared, over here you would have cos c. Now we can make cos b the subject to give us cos b is equal a squared plus c squared minus b squared all over 2ac. Again, we can apply some modifications over here. If this part over here was cos a, then over here we would have minus a squared. If this part over here was cos c, then over here we would have minus c squared. The largest angle of a triangle is opposite the largest side of the triangle. The smallest angle of a triangle is opposite the smallest side of the triangle. These are two key facts about triangles. Bearings, number one, measured from the north line. Number two, measured clockwise. Number three, written in three figures, for example, 56 degrees as a bearing would be 056. These are the key facts of 9.1, the cosine rule. I'll be implementing these key facts within two exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question one. From a point A, a boat sails due north for 7 kilometers to B. The boat leaves B and moves on a bearing of 100 degrees for 10 kilometers until it reaches C. Calculate the distance of C from A. Now for these type of questions, it is particularly useful to draw a diagram. So now I'm going to draw a diagram to illustrate this particular exam style question. Ladies and gents, here is my diagram. So, from a point A, a boat sails due north for 7 kilometers to B. So here is point A. We sail due north for 7 kilometers to a point B. The boat leaves B and moves on a bearing of 100 degrees for 10 kilometers until it reaches C. So at B, we have to draw a north line and we have to move clockwise of 100 degrees to a point C such that BC is a distance of 10 km, as you can see from the diagram. Now what we want to do is calculate the distance of C from A. Before we do this, notice that we have a straight line. Angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So if this part is 100 degrees, this part over here has to be 80 degrees. Now we want to work out the distance of C from A. In other words, we're trying to work out the distance AC. Firstly, we know that the cosine rule states that b squared is equal a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b. So now I'm going to apply the cosine rule. So using the cosine rule, ac squared is equal 7 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 lots of 7 multiplied by 10 cosine of the angle 80 degrees. So that 80 degrees is opposite the side ac. So we've got cos 80 degrees. Now to work out AC, I can simply take the square root of my calculation over here. Ladies and gents, I can put this into my calculator and I can round it off to three significant figures. This gives me 11.2 kilometer. So the distance of C from A is 11.2 kilometers to three significant figures. Let's have a look at exam style question two. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to 9.3 centimeter, BC is equal to 6.2 centimeter, and AC is equal to 12.7 centimeter. Calculate the size of the largest angle. I'm going to start by drawing the triangle ABC. So here is my triangle. This is capital A. This is capital B, this is capital C. The length A to B is 9.3 cm. The length B to C is 6.2 cm. And the length A to C is 12.7 cm. So this is my triangle ABC. We want to work out the size of the largest angle. We know that the largest angle is opposite the largest side. So the largest side of this triangle is 12.7 cm. So opposite this would be the largest angle, which is this angle here. 
Now, to work out this angle, we can use this particular form of the cosine rule. So we've got cos b is equal a squared plus c squared minus b squared all over 2ac. Okay, so cos b will equal 9.3 squared plus 6.2 squared minus 12.7 squared all over 2 lots of 9.3 multiplied by 6.2. So I can put the right hand side into my calculator. So I get cos b is equal to minus 303 over 961. So now I can take cos inverse to work out the angle b. Okay, so the angle b is equal cos inverse of minus 303 over 961. Okay, so to three significant figures, we get that the angle b is equal to 109 degrees. So that there, ladies and gents, is the largest angle of the triangle ABC. We can label it over here. So we've got 109 degrees. This completes the exam style question and this teaching video 9.1, the cosine rule. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.